The prisons are filled with cons who claim they're innocent. I sit here as an innocent man. And Raymond Jennings is no different. I'm at peace in my life. And I laugh and I smile because I hold no remorse because I didn't kill your sister. That is the bottom line. A dramatic moment in the courtroom. Jennings is defiant as he's sentenced to 40 years to life for the murder of Michelle O'Keefe. I don't ask any mercy from this court because I know I don't have any coming. I will take my time and I will hold my head up as a man. My five children will know who their father is and they will know he is not a murderer. But that's not what the state says. Jennings resigned himself to life behind bars, posing for pictures with his fiance in front of a fake tropical background and watching TV with the other inmates. The crazy thing is most prisoners love to watch crime stories. Even Crime Watch Daily, people watch that on a regular basis in prison. It was a news story about Michelle's murder that would be the key to unlock the cell door. And the man holding the key? Just some bored guy surfing the internet. My son Clinton uh, came to me. I guess what had happened is that he had been randomly surfing the internet and saw a link to a television program uh, and it was about an Iraq War veteran who supposedly murdered a girl in a parking lot, and he wondered to himself, why would that happen? Attorney Jeffrey Ehrlich says his son, a foreign policy expert, was intrigued enough to investigate the Jennings case and concluded he was railroaded. He went online and looked up the Court of Appeal opinion in Ray's case, and actually what he was hoping was that it would sort of show him that Ray was guilty and that he didn't need to think about this anymore. Instead, he read the opinion and it raised a lot of questions in his mind. And he came to me the next day and said, if I had found an Iraq War veteran who was wrongfully convicted of murder and who's innocent, would you like to try to get him out of prison? Ehrlich, a prominent civil attorney, isn't a criminal defense lawyer, but he became one overnight. When you saw the evidence, did you think that Ray Jennings killed Michelle O'Keefe? It was just the opposite, that, that the deeper we dug into the case, the stronger our conviction was that he was clearly innocent. Jennings was convicted despite no physical evidence connecting him to the murder. He just happened to be the parking lot security guard who discovered Michelle dying in her Mustang. The state's entire case against Ray at its most fundamental level was he was there and there was no one else there that could have committed the crime, therefore he must have done it. But Jennings wasn't the only one in the parking lot that night. Remember, there were four other people hanging out in another car nearby getting high. The state knew that he wasn't the only one there, uh, a person that has been since identified that we'll call him John Doe number one, who was a convicted carjacker, a gang member, who had done home invasion robberies, uh, and who used a nine millimeter pistol, which is the same kind of pistol used in the killing. And according to court papers, four months after Michelle's murder, John Doe number one was busted for carjacking a Mustang. When he was arrested, he was wearing an earring matching the description of the earrings Michelle was wearing the night she was murdered. And one of those was missing. The case really had no validity. And so the state tried to make up for that by just heaping on piles of piles of irrelevant matter. And so we just sort of peeled an onion and showed piece by piece how none of it hung together and none of it made sense. The Los Angeles District Attorney's Conviction Review Unit looked at the new evidence and they agreed. Our office uh, no longer has confidence in the conviction of Mr. Jennings. What we're saying is very, very clearly that if a jury was in possession of the information that we're aware of now, they would not have convicted him. A judge ordered Jennings immediate release. After almost 11 years, he was free. You're a free man. How does it feel? Uh, it's overwhelming. It feels great. Um, I, I think there's no words to actually describe that. But he wasn't off the hook yet. There was still one final day in court. 
the judge uh, vacated the sentence and discharged, uh, dismissed all the charges. Three weeks ago, a judge ruled Jennings factually innocent, meaning he was right all along. He didn't kill Michelle. I just breathed a sigh of relief. Uh, you know, I exhaled, and I was very thankful that it finally came down. You spent most of your adult life in prison for a murder that it's now stated you did not commit. Well, on one hand, it, it, there's a lot of anger. Uh, there's, there's anger, there's bitterness. But on the other hand, I mean, I, I've learned from it. I've, I've grown from it. Up next, despite the court ruling, Michelle's father, Mike, still believes Jennings isn't the choir boy he professes to be. Do you feel that Ray Jennings had something to do with Michelle's death?